In our previous video, we have looked at using the Veracrypt on Windows and how we can create an encrypted container using it. In this video, we are going to learn about using Veracrypt on Linux and its command line references. At an outset, like you see on the screen, we can create the container using Veracrypt-create command, update the container information using the Veracrypt-change command, mount the container using Veracrypt-mount and dismount the container using Veracrypt-d command. Now let's see all of this in action and more in the upcoming screen. So let's download the Veracrypt for my operating system. I'm downloading Ubuntu 20.4 console version so that I can install it from the CLI side of it. Copy the link, go to my the CLI and then use a wget command, paste the link and then hit enter. It downloads the Veracrypt to my current working directory and I see that it's already there. Now what I can do is I can just use the dpkg command to install it now. So I can just say dpkg i to install and then give the file name and that will install it for me. Now one thing to note is I am right now a super user and using my privilege to install the package onto my Ubuntu. Now that we have uh, Veracrypt installed into our Ubuntu server, let's start by creating the container first. So since we have Veracrypt installed, I press the tab and that completes the command. So Veracrypt hyphen hyphen create and give a path where we want to create the container. We can give the absolute or the relative path. I'm using the absolute path right now. So slash tmp slash container is the file name that I'm going to create. Hit enter and it is going to ask us questions and we have to answer those questions to create the container so we are going to create the normal so enter enter the volume size so let's say we are going to create a wing, one gigabit of the size give the aes encryption algorithm as a selection hash algorithm as sha512 and ext4 let's say as our preference from the file system perspective now give the password enter the password again no PIM, no key file and then now we have to type at least 320 random characters so that it, cre it can create the primary secondary key along with the solve for the hashing algorithm. Once we are done with that press enter and there it is. So if you look at the steps it's pretty much same like what we have seen in the windows edition as well. Once the process is done we can take a look at our file is in slash tmp and that's where it is if i look at this particular file i can see it's a data file and if i want to look at the size of the file it's exactly one gig so there we are we have the encrypted container ready for us now in order to skip the entire visit process we can give all these parameters on the command line as well so let's take a look at that so where are crypt hyphen hyphen create give the path uh, this time we'll give it as container.1 because it's a new container that we are going to create and give the volume type now this type can be a hidden or a normal so we are going with the normal volume type then we want to use the encryption mechanism as aes algorithm we want a hash algorithm to be sha512 now we want a file system system to be ext4 that's what we have said earlier the size of the container we want is around 1 gig and we want a verbose output now some of the parameters we have skipped into it is like giving the password or giving the encryption file or the key file uh, we will look at other options as well as we progress in the video click enter and now you have an option to give the password re-enter the password no pim no key file now type at least 320 random characters again press enter and 
that's it the uh, volume is getting created now what you see is most of the parameters we have given is on the command line itself so we don't need to enter it or follow the uh, the kind of a wizard mode into the command line and once done we can verify our container creation here it's a container dot one that we created and that's it using the command line you can give the parameters and create the container onto it now in order to use a key file let's first create the one so we are crypt hyphen hyphen create hyphen key file and then give the path where you want to create the key file now this time i want to create it in slash tmp and with the name key file dot to use press enter it'll ask for 320 random characters give the 320 random characters and press enter and there you are the key file is ready for our use which we can uh, leverage it for creation of the container and even while mounting the created containers using the key file so let's now use the key file that we just created in creation of a new container the only difference is we are going to use a different name for the container this time we are going to use dot two as the file name and then give additional parameter of key files and give the path where our key file is saved that's it press enter uh, we are not using any password since we are providing the key file so we'll skip this one no pim and give 320 random characters here press enter and it will start the creation process once done our container.2 file will be created in the tmp folder with the key file and not the password which we can use to mount with the key file and not the password now that we have created the key file and the container using the key file let's now mount it so we are crypt hyphen hyphen mount and give the file which you want to mount basically the container name so tmp and container 2 that's the file that we are going to mount press enter it'll take the default mount directory which is in slash media then password would be blank because we have used the key file for it no pim this time we are going to give the path to the key file which is slash tmp slash key file dot two dot use enter it is not a hidden volume so default is okay and there you are the volume is mounted we can verify the mounted containers using the vera crypt crypt hyphen hyphen list command and there it is on the first slot container 2 is mounted on media vera crypt 1 we can verify the creation of the file here or the file system rather here and there we have we have the loss plus found directory which indicates that the file system indeed is there we can also verify the details with the df net command where we can see the veracrypt1 dev mapper is mounted on media veracrypt1 now once we have mounted this we can obviously unmount the file as well with veracrypt hyphen d and then giving the path of the container or we can just simply write veracrypt hyphen d and that will unmount all of the mounted containers so that's about it uh, the vera crypt on the linux if you like the video do share and subscribe and do post us a comments in case you want to see any improvements or any further addition to the videos as well till then take care bye bye